Okay, so one of the things that people don't know about their pet stores is that they are actually laid out very purposefully. So right now we are walking down what they would call the super premium aisle. This is where you're gonna find your raw food, your premium kibble, and then on the end cap here, you're actually going to find the Only Natural Pet brand, um, which I am a fan of quite a few of their products. Um, one of which being their freeze-dried raw nibs, which are usually on sale. And then they also have some other, you know, dehydrated mixed options. And then if you come down to your second aisle, we start getting into just kind of like your middle to high end kibble. Your price tags are still going to be pretty high, um, but the quality of the ingredients are going to start to go down. So you always want to take a look at the ingredients. You want to avoid things like corn, wheat, soy, peas, potatoes. Um, you want to avoid rice if you can help it. I understand that it, it can't always be helped. Um, I would much rather see, rather than an oat bran, you know, or like this one's got potatoes listed twice, I would much rather see a quinoa or something like that. Another thing to look out for when you're getting a, a wet food is you want to make sure that it doesn't have that carrageenan in it. I've mentioned this many, many times, and um, carrageenan has been linked to canine cancer. It's a thickening agent. So you always want to check for that. So let's come down here to a food that I get asked about quite a bit, which would be the Merrick Puppy. Let's take a look at those ingredients. Bear with me because it's on the top of the shelf here. Okay, so deboned chicken. Good. Chicken meal. Yes, thank you. Deboned chicken meal, not as good. Brown rice, okay, we're steadily heading downhill. Peas, not good. Barley, not good. Oatmeal, not good. What is this? Chicken fat, definitely not good. Pea protein, okay, so we've doubled up on the peas. They're splitting ingredients. Here's quinoa. Now, if this food had said chicken, chicken meal, quinoa, and then started talking about chicken liver, carrots, apples, salmon oil, right? I, I would say that it's a much better food. There's that dreaded natural flavor. You guys know how much I hate that ingredient. That is a catch-all for all kinds of chemicals. Okay, let's keep looking. Okay, so now we get to our middle of the road, right? Which is your blue buffalo, Neutro, again, the further you go in, the faster the quality of the ingredients are going to go down. So, let's take a look at a food over here. So here we've got the Blue Buffalo Adult. Chicken, okay, chicken meal, eh, brown rice, and then here we go again. Barley, pea flour, pea starch, oatmeal, peas, potato starch, uh, essential powdered cellulose. That is, look, and then pea protein, potatoes, alfalfa meal. I mean, this bag of food is $20. It is, it is a... $20 bag of pea fiber, pea starch, rice, barley, potatoes, more peas, powdered cellulose, which if you, if you look that up, that's like the 
um, you know, outer casing of corn and rice and millet and things like that. It, it's not, it's not a food. It's, it's essentially the wood shavings, quote unquote, of the bottom of the barrel of uh, ingredients. You know, it's like, hey, this thing's left over. We can claim that it's a fiber source. Let's throw it in dog food. So anyway, okay, so this is middle of the road. Let's keep going. Okay, and now we migrate on to our low end, right? We've got our low end brands here. Again, I see a lot of people doing the Canada small breed. Let's just take a look at those ingredients. Salmon, okay, salmon meal, not as good, but still good. Peas, lentils, tapioca, you see what I'm saying? Garbanzo beans. It's just, and now they're just adding taurine to the food just in case which is not good. You, you shouldn't be adding taurine to a food unless th there's a need for it. But now pet food companies are just doing it just because where they didn't before. But now because of the DCM scare, right, they're all panicking. Oh boy. Here we go. Still down the low end products. Let's go all the way to the lowest of the low end. Okay, so this aisle here, very appropriately placed next to the bathroom because it is all total crap. So we've got low of the low end, low of the low end, and it will continue to get worse and worse the farther down we go. Until finally, you've got, you know, you're down to the worst possible options that you can feed, which is essentially, if you were feeding a, you know, I mean, if you were feeding a cow, you wouldn't even be allowed to feed them all these ingredients. But look at that corn, gluten meal, whole grain corn, barley, wheat, soybean, 